Hey everyone, Richard Atwood, aka Threads here. So I got in the Pathfinder School bottle bag kit from Self Reliance Outfitters. Uh, I did an unboxing video, but I may or may not post that. Um, just say there are some issues with the way it was handled by the shipping company. Um, I did order it through Amazon. I will do that from time to time, pay, you know, a few extra dollars just for the simplicity of the shipping through Amazon. Um, but I always verify that it is from the company and not uh, just like, you know, a knockoff or some other big wholesaler. Uh, so let's get into it. Start with the, the goodies that it comes with. You have a very nice large pocket up front. Comes with the the combo utensil comes with the spreader comes with a little pack or a little tin of the mini infernos comes with a ferro rod and striker that was one of the things uh, whenever I ordered mine it specifically said that my ferro rod would be orange as you can tell, it is not. Um, overall, though, it's not a bad little ferro rod. Like I said, the front pocket is very large. You'll be able to store a lot of stuff in there. Lid for your cup. One of the awesome things about the way they have these is everything nests together. So you have your 32 ounce bottle. You have your little twig stove. And then you have a very nice large cup with nice handles. And it is marked on the inside. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. Um, not sure how long the, that will stay on there, you know, if you use it over a fire. Should be okay, though. So all of this, you know, of course goes together. One thing I do want to touch on, I've seen a lot of uh, videos and stuff people don't understand how to use these and they try to use them like this and you know grip in there that's not how these work take it apart give it a stretch the cup is actually well, if I have my lid on a little straighter there let's do this But the lid is actually set up to where you can have the lid on and still be able to hang this over a fire. Let's set all this to the side. As like I said, I love the fact that all this nests together very nicely. Let's go over the bag a little bit. Make sure that's in frame somewhat. It's not going to stand up very well on its own, so let me stick this back in here. I have the Condor H2O bottle bag. A very common one. A lot of people get these. They're inexpensive. You can see the size difference there. Uh, truth be told, you could probably... You could almost fit this bag inside the, the the one from Pathfinder School. SRO. Quite a bit of difference there. But that's not where all the difference is either. Condor bag. Of course, 
This will fit in here, no problem. The one problem with the Condor bag is if you put a nesting cup in here, it's very difficult to get back out unless you have it in some sort of um, like a stuff sack or something that that gives it a little less resistance against the, the walls of the bag. But here's why. The Condor bag is actually insulated. Top, sides, bottoms, not as, but it's still insulated. It's very, very thick walled. It's meant to help keep your liquid cool or hot or whatever. Mainly cool. Pathfinder bag is not insulated. It is coated, but it's not insulated at all. So, if you're wanting an insulated bag because you want to put a Nalgene full of cold water in it and then have it cold longer, this bag is not made for that. This bag is strictly a transportation device for all of your gear. Which is fine, but just know that up front if you're looking at getting this bag. It's not insulated. Um, the quality is not bad. You know, you can see they didn't, they didn't finish out some of the areas where the seams are. Um, where the Condor pouch, it's completely seamed in. You don't have, you know, they ran seam tape everywhere, edge binding, whatever you want to call it. They finished out where the zippers are. Uh, there's no open seam on the inside of the bag. It's actually a closed hem. It's not that way here. Uh, it does have an edge binding on, on most of the areas, but where the, where the seams are, it's not. Where the zippers are, it's not. But again, you're also getting twice the bag. So, this is the haul gear. This is more of an insulator. As far as the nesting cup goes, this is just your plain Jane run of the mill, pick it up at Walmart in the camping section cup. It's got the weird to grab and hold on to handles. Still stainless steel, still does the job. Quite a bit different as far as size goes. About the same everywhere else. Wow, this one almost fits in here, but it is way bigger. Not sure what size this one is, uh, but this one's a, a 700 mil, 25 ounce. You can switch between the two, no problem. Now Jean just fits. It's a little, little bit of resistance, but there's still just enough play for you ability to do it. Overall, not a bad kit. My primary thing for this is to be able to have basically a little self-sustaining system to be able to heat up water you know if we're out hiking or camping or whatever basically this can be like a little coffee kit have everything in it to be able to make hot water make some instant coffee I could get a pour over system and keep in there as well there's plenty of room uh, this would also be really good to make as like a little uh, kind of an emergency bag just to keep in your vehicle it's all stainless so you don't have to worry about you know, it getting really broken or anything. Uh, but you'd be able to make water, boil water, make food, whatever. So, yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching.